Uh, good day everyone and yeah, welcome to my youtube channel at smd executive academy so in this video we'll be solving a question from the yag physics past question the year 2014 objective question 11 so i'll read and it's clearly written boldly on the board there so the question says that the diagram above illustrates a uniform meter rule which is balanced on a pivot by some masses calculate the value of m so we are to, what we want to do in this kind of question here is that we are to understand that this pivot is basic this meter rule is basically experiencing equilibrium so the pivot is placed at a particular point then there are some masses that are used to balance that are used to balance the meter rule in order for it not to fall to this side or to this side so logically you can see that if this mass is on gear and this mass is on gear there is a mass of 10 100 gram and there is a mass of m unknown so this meter rule is balanced completely we are told to find the mass of the meat or mass of the object here that is used to balance the meter rule horizontally the mass of this object this object is placed at 10 centimeter from this end and also this object is placed 40 centimeter from this end having a distance of 10 centimeter to the pivot so we can see that from this point to this point happens to be 50 centimeter so when we hear the word when we hear the word um the uniform meter rule it means that the meter rule is 100 centimeter that is one meter so the length of a uniform meter rule is one meter so logically you can see that from year to year happens to be 100 centimeter so an object is placed at 10 centimeter there will be a distance between the object m this mass m and this pivot which happens to be what 40 why is it 40 centimeter the reason is that from year to year a uniform meter rule is 100 centimeter then we have been told that from this pivot to the other end is 50 then which means the remaining will be 50 given that 10 centimeter uh, an object is placed 10 centimeter from this end then from year to year will be 40 centimeter so in order for us to get this mass all we have to do is to understand that clockwise moment is equal to at anti-clockwise moment. So we want what we want to do is that we calculate the moment of this side, equalizing it to the moment of this side. How do we do that? Moment of this side. Normally we know that the moment of um, moment of an object is the force of that object multiplied by its distance, its perpendicular distance. So, but in this case, we will not be using force multiplied by distance. Reason is that. If we use the force multiplied by distance, let me use that first and see what we are going to have there. If we say the force of this object, that's F. F, if we say the force of that object, let me stand this way so we can see the ball very well. If we say the force of this object, F, the force of this object times its um, distance, yeah, that's D, must be equal to the force of this object, F times the distance it has to, the distance it makes with the pivot, to the pivot rather, so that's D. So we call it perpendicular distance. This is the perpendic this is perpendicular to this. So the force here is not given. So we can use the formula for weight to get our force. Yeah, that's the force. The weight of that object will happen to be the force is going to what? It's going to, it's going to um, place on this ruler. So with that, we can say that this, this is mass times gravity times the perpendicular distance equals to for this side also mass times gravity times perpendicular distance so the mass of the objects are kind of, are, are different from each other we can mark this to be m1 and mark this to be m2 can mark this to be d1 and mark this to be d2 reason is that this mass happens to be the mass for this this distance happens to be the distance this m1 makes to the pivot while this mass m2 is the mass of this and this d2 is the distance this m2 makes with the pivot but you will realize that it is only it is only the g we do not do what we do not change we do not make it specific reason is that the gravity is constant gravity is 10 meter per second square so if gravity is 10 meter per second square we can mathematically know that gravity will cancel gravity what we have left to be mass of the first object times distance of the first object equals to mass of the second object times distance of the second object. You can see now that in this equilibrium, we'll be using the mass of one object multiplied by the 
perpendicular distance. It has to be equal to the mass of the other object multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So when we say clockwise moment, this is the clockwise moment because this is the part at which this is the part at which the, the clock rotates. Then this is anti-clockwise. So when you do this, you do this, you equalize. So let's do that now. So we're using this now to solve our question because gravity has cancelled each other. The mass of the first object, that's what we're looking for, capital, that's M, times the distance of the first object, 40 centimeter. Sorry, we don't have to put the centimeter. That's 40 equals to the mass of the second object, 100, times the distance it makes with the pivot, that's 10. Then we can see now that we have 40 M, equals to 100 times 10, that's 1,000. That's 1,000. So with that, we can say the viable side by what? 40. Then our M will be equal to 1,000 over 40. So zero cancels zero. So we have mass equals to 100 over 4. And 100 divided by 4 will give us what? That's 25. So which means that 25 gram is the mass of the object here that will balance the metal rule horizontally when 100 gram is on the other side keeping a distance of 10 centimeter to the pivot so this is just to make an horizontal balance of a metal rule you understand so this comes to the end of the video and please if you really enjoyed this video and it's really helpful please kindly click the subscribe button the share button and like thank you very much